Good morning, children. Today in Max, let's continue with our chapter equal sharing. So we learned in our previous class what is equal sharing. So when we divide equally or when we group equally, we can call it as equal sharing. And we learned what division is. We learned the symbol of division. We learned dividend, divisor, and quotient. Today, let's learn repeated subtraction. We have learned subtraction in our previous chapter. So what is repeated subtraction? In your textbook, page number 65. So you can see eight bones are lying on the ground. These are to be equally divided between two dogs. How many bones does each dog eat? So what is the question? You can see the picture that there are eight bones and there are two dogs. We have to equally divide these bones among these two dogs. So how many bones does each dog get? That is what we need to find out. So let's find out first using repeated subtraction. So for doing repeated subtraction, you can see that eight bones and two dogs. So first we give two bones to these dogs. Now how much is left? Eight minus two. So you can see that six bones are left. Again, the, from these six bones, two bones are given to the dogs. So we can say that six minus two is equal to four. Now four bones are remaining. Out of these four bones, again, we have to equally share among the two dogs. So again, we give two bones to the dogs. So four minus two. Now two bones are remaining. So we divide these two bones among these two dogs. Now how much is left? Zero. Now nothing is left. So we have equally divided or equally shared these bones among these two dogs. So that is repeated subtraction. Repeated subtraction is how many times a number is subtracted from a given number. So here there are eight bones and two dogs. So we were re repeatedly subtracting eight minus two is equal to six. Again from six we subtract two. So six minus two is equal to four. Four minus two is equal to two. Two minus two is equal to zero. So till we get zero, the final answer zero, we need to subtract. That is repeated subtraction. So you can see First there are 8 bones and 2 dogs. So 8 minus 2 is equal to 6. And from the number 6 again we are subtracting because there are 2 dogs. So again 2 is subtracted from 6. So 6 minus 2 is 4. Again from 4 we have to subtract. So we are subtracting 2 from 4. 4 minus 2 is equal to 2. 2 minus 2 is equal to 0. Now we have reached the last number that is we have reached zero. So till we reach zero we need to subtract. Now how many times did we subtract? One, two, three, four. We subtracted the number four times. So we can say that each dog gets four bonds. So you can rewrite it in the division sentence like eight divided by two is equal to four. So division is repeated subtraction. In page number 66, you have a word problem. 12 airplanes are flying together. After some time, they form groups of six planes each. How many groups do they form? So first there are 12 airplanes. After some time, they divided themselves into groups. And in each group, there are six planes. So we have to find out how many groups of airplanes are there. So for that, 12 airplanes and they formed groups of 6 planes, right? So 12 minus 6 is equal to 6. Again from 6, we have to subtract 6. So 6 minus 6 is equal to 0. We reached the answer 0. So how many times did we subtract? 1, 2. So repeated subtraction was done two times. So what is the answer? Hence the airplanes form two groups. So this is how we do the repeated subtraction. Let's take another example. Samuel has 
15 candies. He wants to share it equally amongst his five friends. So Samuel is having 15 candies and he is having five friends. He wants to equally share the candies among his friends. So for that, what he has to do? So first, he has 15 candies and five friends. So from you are subtracting 5 from 15. 15 minus 5 is equal to 10. We got the answer 10. Again, we subtract 5 from 10. So, 10 minus 5 is equal to 5. We have to subtract 5 from 5 and 5 minus 5 is equal to 0. So, how many times did we subtract? 1, 2, 3. So, we can say that 15 divided by 5 is equal to 3. So, each child gets 3 candies. Let's do another example. There are 12 stars. We have to make 3 equal groups. How many stars are there in each group? We have to do this in repeated subtraction method. So, how many stars are there in total? There are 12 stars and we have to make 3 equal groups of it. So, how can we subtract? For that, we have to subtract 3 from 12 first. So, 12 minus 3. How much is the answer? It is 9. Again, from the number 9, we need to subtract. So, now 9 stars are remaining. So, from 9 minus 3 is equal to 6. We got the answer 6. Again, we have to subtract till we get the answer 0. So, 6 minus 3 is equal to 3 and 3 minus 3 is equal to 0. So, how many times did we subtract? 1, 2, 3, 4. So, we can say that 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4. 3 subtracted 4 times. So, this is the answer 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4. Let's do one more example. There are 24 apples on a tree and there are 4 children. How many apples each child got? So how many apples are there total? There are 24 apples and there are 4 children. So we have to divide this 24 apples among this 4 children. So for that we have to subtract 24 minus 4. We get the answer 20. And from this 20, we have to again subtract. So, for, subtract 4 from 20. 20 minus 4 is equal to 16. We got the answer 16. From 16, we have to again subtract. So, the number 4 has to be subtracted from 16. 16 minus 4, we get the answer 12. From 12, we have to subtract. 12 minus 4 is equal to 8. 8 minus 4 is equal to 4 and the last 4 minus 4 is equal to 0. So, how many times did we subtract? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, 6 times we subtracted to get the answer 0. So, we can say that 24 divided by 4 is equal to 6. So, each child gets 6 apples. Here's an activity for you. So, you can write down this in your notebook. 18 chocolates have to be shared among 9 boys. How many chocolates will each boy get? So, there are total 18 chocolates and there are 9 boys. So, how many chocolates does each boy get? So, write down this question in your notebook and do it in the repeated subtraction method. Pause the video and once you have done, you can come back. Hope you have done. Now let's check the answer. So first we had 18 chocolates and there are 9 boys. So 18 minus 9 is 9. From 9 we need to subtract the number 9. So 9 minus 9 is equal to 0. So how many times did we subtract? 1, 2. We subtracted 2 times. 18 divided by 9 is equal to 2. So each boy gets 2 chocolate. In your textbook, Page number 6 to 6, we have a word problem. A herd of 14 elephants is moving together. After some time, they form groups of two elephants 
each. How many groups do they form? So what is the question? There are 14 elephants and after some time they form groups of two. So we have to find out how many groups did they form. So for doing that what we have to do? We have 14 and then they formed groups of two. So 14 minus two at first we have to do. So in this picture you can see 14 elephants. Now let's group them into two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can see that they have formed seven groups. Now let's do this in the repeated subtraction method. So first there are 14 elephants and they formed into two. So 14 minus two is equal to 12. We got 12. So from 12 again we are subtracting 12 minus 2 is equal to 10. 10 minus 2 is equal to 8. 8 minus 2 is equal to 6. 6 minus 2 is equal to 4. 4 minus 2 is equal to 2. 2 minus 2 is equal to 0. So how many times did we subtract? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So the elephants formed 7 groups. So when we circled it, we found that there are 7 groups. Let's move on to the next question. 24 children were playing in a playground. They formed groups of 4 children each. How many groups did they form? So there are 24 children and they are playing in a park and they formed groups of four children and we have to find out how many groups did they form. 24 minus 4, we get the answer 20 and from 20 again we have to subtract 20 minus 4 is equal to 16. 16 minus 4 is equal to 12. 12 minus 4 is equal to 8. 8 minus 4 is equal to 4. 4 minus 4 is equal to 0. So how many times did we subtract? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the children formed 6 groups. So this is the repeated subtraction method. Next question we have. Mayank decides to donate his storybooks to a children's home on his birthday. He has 72 storybooks with him and there are 24 children in the children's home. How many books does each child get? Mayank is having 72 storybooks and there are 24 children in the children's home and he is giving away his storybooks to a children. Now we have to find out how many books does each child get. So we have to subtract 24 from 72 at first. So we here we, we have a two digit number. So 72 minus 24. 2 minus 4 is in the ones place. So can you subtract 4 from 2? No. So what you have to do? You have to borrow from the tens place. So you are going to the tens place and there is 7 in the tens place. When you borrow, it becomes 6 here and the 1, you are taking it over to the 1's place. So now you have 12 minus 4. So what is 12 minus 4? It is 8. So write that in the 1's place. And next moving on to the 10's place, we have 6 minus 2. So 6 minus 2 is 4. So we got 48. So 72 minus 24 is 48. Now we have to subtract 24 from 48. Again, let's subtract 48 minus 24. So can we subtract 4 from 8? Yes, because 8 is a bigger number. So 8 minus 4 is 4. And moving on to the tens place, we have 4 minus 2. It is 
2. So we got 24. So 48 minus 24 is 24. Now we have 24 minus 24 and we have learned a number when we subtract from that number itself it is 0 and so we reached the end that is we got the answer 0. So how many books does each child get? We repeatedly subtracted it 1, 2, 3, 3 times. So each child gets 3 books. So that's all for today. Hope you understood what is repeated subtraction. We'll be meeting in the next class. Till then, thank you.